Hey boys and girls, this is Miss Christy. Tonight's homework is Homelink 5-13, Expressing Answers to Number Stories. All students riding bus 19 are released for dismissal. Bus 19 for dismissal, please. Today, students learn to express solutions to multi-step number stories using correct units and single number models. Have your child explain the steps for solving each of the problems below and then help him or her write these steps as a single number model, including a letter for the unknown quantity. Solve. Record a long number model with a letter for the unknown quantity and write the answer with the correct unit. Okay. Guillermo hires two painters to paint the walls of his living room. The painters each make $42 an hour for an eight hour work day. If the work takes three days, how much will Guillermo pay the painters? Okay, so. At this time, all students riding buses 13 and 15 are released for dismissal. Buses 13 two painters. and 15 for dismissal, please. Thank you. Two painters, $42 an hour, eight hour workday, three days. Two painters making times $42 an hour, times eight hours, times three days, equals x. So for our estimate, well, these numbers are pretty easy to work with, but for our estimate, we can do two times 40 times 10 times three. So two times 40 is 80, times 10 is 800, times three, is 2,400. Okay, now we're gonna do our actual computation. Um, so the way that I like to do these, and you can just do it in the same order that it's happening, um, mm -hmm. I like to make two numbers. So I'm gonna use just the basic facts here to make two times eight is 16, times three is 48, so 48 times 42, and we can use, um, let's use lattice, I guess. 48 times 42. Forty-eight times forty-two. So four times eight is thirty-two. Two times eight is sixteen. Four times four is sixteen. Two times four is eight. And this is six, eight plus one is nine, plus two is 11. Six plus three is nine, plus one is 10. And one plus one is two. So our answer is $2,016. And it's kind of close to our estimate. So I think we're right. Okay. So the next problem is, Blaine is on vacation in New York City and wants to collect magnets of places he visits to give to all his friends. The Times Square magnets cost $2 each and come in sets of four. The Statue of Liberty magnets cost $3 each and come in sets of five. If Blaine buys 12 sets of each type of magnet, how much will he pay? Okay. So he's got two different types of things here that we're gonna be adding together because it's asking us how much will he pay. It's a total. So the Times Square magnets. At this time, all students riding buses nine, two, and five, please report to the B4 hallway to line up. That's all students riding buses nine, two, and five to B4 to line up, please. Thank you. Two times four. Times square magnets cost two dollars each to come in sets of four and he's buying 12 sets of each though so it's going to be two times four times 12 plus three times five times 12. all right i'm just going to explain that because it's kind of confusing because the numbers are kind of all over the place so the times square magnets they're two dollars each and they come in sets of four and he's buying 12 of them so two times four times 12. The Statue of Liberty ones cost $3 each, come in sets of five, 
and he's buying 12 of those also. So that's why it's 2 times 4 times 12 plus 3 times 5 times 12 equals x. Um, so our estimate can be 2 times 4 times 10 plus 3 times 5 times 12. Well, that's already kind of, I don't know, I guess we could do that the same way. 3 times 5 times 10, I guess 10 is a little bit easier than 12. Um, so 2 times 4 times 10, 2 times 4 is 8, times 10 is 80, plus, so this is 80, plus, 3 times 5 is 15, times 10 is 150. So 150 plus 80 is 230. So that's our estimate. So now let's do the actual computation. So 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 12, you know your 12's facts. So 8 times 12 is 96. So 96 plus, and this one, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 12, that's not as easy. But 5 times 12, we know that that's 60. And 60 times 3, we know is 180. So 96 plus 180. 96 plus 186, 5 plus 8 is 17, so our answer is $276. Okay, and that's kind of close to our estimate, so I know we're right. Okay, so here's some division facts, some practice with division facts, which as we know, division is the opposite of multiplication. So... 45 divided by 5. All students writing book 9 for dismissal, please. Book 9. So what times 5 equals 45? 9 times 5 equals 45. 56 divided by 8 equals what? So what times 8 is 56? 7. 54 divided by 9. What times 9 is 54? 6. What number divided by 9 equals 4? So this time we're doing the opposite. 4 times 9, which is 36. This one's a little bit tricky. What number divided by 6 equals 6? 6 times 6 is 36 also. And what number divided by 8 equals 3? 3 times 8 is 24. And that's it. So hopefully that wasn't too difficult. Um, and I hope you have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.